Hi, this is Kit Welchland and welcome to Welchland.com. Today's video blog is on meetings and the question is, do I need to attend this meeting? I just received a meeting notice. It was pretty vague. I'm not sure who called the meeting or why. I have a bunch of stuff to get done. Do I need to attend this meeting? It'd be great to receive a meeting notice that has some of the details of the meeting. A good meeting notice would include details like the date of the notice and the date of the meeting, the start time, the end time, the meeting location, who called the meeting, the phone number or email address of the person calling the meeting. Ideally, we would expect to receive a list of meeting objectives with an agenda that lists the topics, the activities related to that topic, like information giving or brainstorming or problem solving or decision making or team building, and the activity leader and the time expected. There should also be guidelines concerning preparation required by the participants for the meeting, including information or materials participants need to bring to the meeting along with any audiovisual needs. It'd be great to list the names of people whose attendance at this meeting is essential and also a list of people whose attendance is optional, but who should at least be informed that the meeting is taking place. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe they were just informing me that the meeting's taking place somewhere, sometime, someday, whatever. I'm going golfing. Thank you for watching this video blog on meetings. So the question was, do I need to attend this meeting? Great meeting notices guarantee great meeting results. Take a few minutes and improve your meeting notices and provide details of the upcoming meeting to make sure it's a great use of all the participants time. Check back to Welchland.com every Monday for a new video blog. But maybe we can save some money by not having so many darn meetings. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> We'll talk.